in to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yeah, it yeah. was you. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon, good morning, good evening, After Buzzers. Welcome to the third week of TGIT on ABC. Mm. How to Get Away with Murder. I'm your host, Thaddeus Massey, and joining me today is... Hello, guys. It's Jillian Left once again. Happy to be here. Hey, everyone. It's Stacey. I guess hosting today. Happy to be here as well. And I'm Steph Z, and I'm happy to be here, too. Oh, guys. Oh, we're all so happy. We're so hands. happy to see people get away with murder. <laughs> I know, right? So this week, the episode is called Smile or Go to Jail, and we see happy why. Smile. We see right. what's going on. We get more flashbacks of the actual murder scene and what's going on. And you know one thing I was going to ask? I was asking myself when they were like all figuring out. You see... Uh, Sam Keating's body on the floor mm-hmm. and there's blood leaking from his head or whatever mm-hmm. and everybody's just like doing whatever like it's another day at the office kind of thing and I'm like isn't anybody freaked out about this mm-hmm. and as soon as I thought that to myself there's a, 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 a quick cut to Michaela like crawled up in the corner right. like freaking out right. I'm like what? okay now it's normal because somebody is not Reacting. used to a murder, <laughs> which all of them are kind of like, at right, least. But what? There's got to be a reason. Like, why is she freaking out way differently than everyone else? Because like, she can't. I mean, we know her character. At least we're getting to know her character, and right. she's so can't goody two shoe. Yeah, she can't yeah. handle that kind of situation. I mean, the, Michaela, we know, can't handle anybody who's not Ivy, as we know. Well, there's I mean, a lot that she can't handle. Right, true, but about, she yeah. seems <laughs> that she would throw anyone under the bus to look good too. True, you know what I mean. So I feel like I feel like it's. The, the whole point of that scene, I feel like, and we later learn, is to flesh. I mean, all I kept writing down was engagement ring, engagement ring, <laughs> engagement Like, we <laughs> saw it, like, mm-hmm. ten yeah. times. Right. So I was like, that has to lead into something. And yes, she was, like, paralyzed by the environment. But we see her, she's kind of like, once they, she's just out of it. Like, I feel like it's showing that she's got, she knows something else that they don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But we see her, like, later at the bonfire. Yeah. She's not getting into it. She's but still when they not. Have yeah. the, the body in the woods. She's uh, she's resisting everywhere. Yeah. So it makes me think, like, is there something else about her that we're going to learn? Well, listen, we don't know what went down. We have no idea. Before we see bloody Sam's Sam body. on the floor. Right. Exactly. And exactly. I was just thinking, like, oh, poor little rich girl. Like, she's cowering in the corner. No, I feel like that's what they want us to think. And I feel like there's something there's something else there. I, I, I like that uh, better than the poor little rich girl thing. Because I, I definitely was confused. Everyone was yeah. with it. Like, we don't know where the struggle happened. We do see this episode that um, Rebecca was there. Yes. We see That Wes, was weird. Yes, that which was we, weird. we've never seen before. We did see Wes comforting Rebecca. So, I mean, like, I'm still with my theory of the altercation happening between the two of them and one person comes to the, you know, someone comes to her defense or Rebecca kills him. But Rebecca had to be introduced before them because it it wasn't like Rebecca was there and anyone was shocked that she was there or being like, why are you here? Like, she was part of it. She was totally a part of it, but Mm -hmm. she had to be the one that was protected because either, I mean, I haven't figured out if Wes is protecting just her or is it something that Rebecca knows I, I don't know why Wes is so well, invested. We already know that Rebecca is part of the mix. For like, sure. Because remember, the murder is like present day and everything else happens is beforehand. Mm-hmm. So we see, you know, this episode, how Rebecca gets pulled into exactly. the group and what, what the connection is and mm-hmm. how she ends up in the office. So it kind of makes sense why, why she would she's be there, at the why body, she would yeah. be at the, at the place. Right. Or at the office. But it's just weird that she's a murder suspect. Then, you know... Annalise is going to defend her. Now she's there at another murder that they're all going to be somehow. That we're not exactly because right now we're not supposed to relate. And of course, there's things that are missing to the puzzle. But I think there's 
there's gonna be another like oh shit moment right. no there's, there definitely there's like five per episode per commercial i don't even yeah. know and as, and as i think the next few episodes unfold and unravel we're gonna get some things that are gonna smack us upside the head mm. yeah like oh where the moments. hell sam has been since clearly nate is lying exactly. to annalise which i I liked. I like that he lied. I know while the reaction, like you, somebody said, no, he didn't or whatever. I think it was you. And I like that he's lying because, like you said, something's going to come out later. But as yeah. far as I know, he's keeping them, keeping the couple together, you know, see, kind of I, thing. And see, it's a trick. But I, I think I'm on more of like the, I'm <laughs> on more he's of the, keeping the couple he's together. keeping the couple it's together. definitely not to keep the couple together. No, but I yeah, like it. I like how no. I'm supposed to believe that, you know, I'm right. going yeah. right. But I'm on more of the payback end of things because right. he's still on probation for something that she did. Right. She threw him under the bus like and then buses. drove oh, over yeah. him. Like a she, double-decker bus. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's doing it for his own benefit. Yeah, totally. I do not believe that he is doing it so that she stays with her husband and stayed out of his, out of his life so that his wife doesn't find out that she... Like, I don't think their relationship... That's a legitimate motivation. That's though. what I, it that's, is, I, think, I, I think that's what thought they thought that want us to think. Good but job. I think well, that has end, to be part of it. It's more of like yeah. a... Mm. It, well, yeah, it's, definitely. It has to start there, though, yeah. because there's no reason... I mean, she could totally ruin his marriage. So I think it's good to put her in her place for a while, keep her buttered but up. But I feel like he could ruin her marriage more because he threatens to say that in the last episode and sh that's when she cowers, that's when she goes back, that's when we see a tear, which I believe is if not the only true tear we see from her. <laughs> well, we also know that based on his testimony on the stand that his wife is sick, right? Isn't she like... She has cancer. She has cancer. Oh, yes. So that's kind of like... It's maybe less, it's, it's it's not. But she's never threatened to tell his wife. She's been like, "You lie to your wife too." Yes, but she's never threatened how he has threatened. Yeah, but I don't really think that he's like in love with her. I don't really think that he's in love with his wife or Annalise. Annalise, I think he no. might. It's very I think possible Annalise that likes him though. Yeah, Listen, she definitely has feelings for him, but in, I don't think he's like in love with Annalise. Mm -hmm. I think because of the circumstances at home with his wife. That might be places. that might be why he's just going to get some over here, but he would really probably want to be with his wife. You know, mm -hmm. I think it was a convenient situation in the beginning, and like as we know, Nate was all about Annalise. We met him with his head in her crotch, people. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. let's not forget right. that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you know. But I, but I'm, I know, <laughs> okay, like, then. okay, no, great. Right. They were having a good time. Right. I'm not saying they weren't. But you know, things obviously have changed, and I just think that it's a much it's a much clearer picture for me that this is a game of payback now. Oh, for sure, right? But I don't I don't necessarily agree with the that just because they were having like a passionate sex scene that that means that he was like I feel like he came around to feeling bad that his wife was sick, and that's why he's not doing it. Right. I don't think it has anything to do with. Do so you think else. that the situation just that, helped it? I think that. What situation? The situation where she, like screwed, she him. screwed him over. Yeah. I think putting him up on the stand and saying where were you and, and your wife has cancer and do not and calling him out made him realize. I think that at the end of the day, he's totally, mostly like everything about Annalise is there's a lie or it's intertwined or there's right. there's something. I feel like with him, the only piece of his life that's like that is her. Right. Like, he he like seems like he lives like he's a it, he seems like a good a good cop. guy. Right. 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 That's right. what I'm right. trying to say. Yeah. But with her, everything is kind of and he's kind of just like you know what I don't want anything to do with this. That's, that's what I'm saying. And, I and feel even like... if he says that Sam's alibi doesn't check out, then she's gonna want more investigation from him. That's and that's the truth. That's what I was thinking. I think the way he set it up was, look, let me just put you in your place for now. Go back to your husband. I'm sure the payback is coming. Yes. But I think it's, let me just start with the plot of you leaving me alone. Let me fix my life. Let me make sure my wife is good because I'm about to come for you. And when I do, I don't want anybody else. You know what I mean? Right. I feel like he set it up so perfectly. So then my initial reaction to, oh my God, he just wants to end that. Well, it's just more, I'm going to stick with it's, it. It's oh, more so like, to stick like with he it. killed Sam. It's oh my God. No, <laughs> not. I think it's just more of a karmic situation based right. on him him investigating and knowing what's going on or he, even though he doesn't know he exactly got a little bit more power on, it's mm -hmm. like yeah she's gonna get hers just by even being in the situation exactly. i don't really have to do anything not only that too so, maybe good. he's realizing maybe this guy did commit this murder and i i'm out exactly. like, i don't want anything to do with this right. guy because he's killing people right. plus he's on like probation too, anyway so he's probably like just like too not easy even. like his alibi doesn't check out they want us to be curious about him i don't think he sam killed couldn't her. have killed her it just or i don't think so it's too, it's too easy. easy. Like it's yeah. too. A lot of it's too easy, and we know how Shonda Rhimes writes her shows. Like nothing can just be, just be. 
She's, you know, everything has to have some kind of ridiculous <laughs> twist. Right. I like honestly, why wouldn't Nate kill him? Just why not? I mean, it could be it's crazy. Right. But it's Shonda Rhimes. I think maybe Nate killed Sam. <laughs> well, Nate, well, this is yeah. out there. I'm just throwing it out. That's too typical. He, hear me I, out. I'd be disappointed if that. That's too typical for me. Hear me okay. out, right? The so, boyfriend killed the husband. That's just like too typical. Nate. Okay. There has to be some other twist in there, like Colin and Aiden. <laughs> no, listen. Go ahead. <laughs> Nate took it one step further, right? He got the confirmation that Sam already didn't speak, so he wasn't there. He what he, he you know his alibi didn't hold up. Right. He then took it a step further and checked the parking garage records. Mm -hmm. right. So why did he go a step further? It's because he is literally like lining up his ducks. He's mm. he's gonna it's gonna be like a show. Like I'm waiting for him to like have some popcorn in his hand. Shit's gonna fly. Excuse me, but you know what I mean. Like it's I'm just I'm oh, waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. Oh. And I, it can't and it, and it can't be so easy. Whereas. He sits back and falls out of the picture and is not around anymore and just waiting for something to happen. Oh, to for sure. So there has to be something else that keeps him in, in the, the mix loop. about Agreed. what's going on because that I would just be know. like, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see. I don't it know. It could be how so. Much. I mean, there's literally four, like three ish fuse scenarios here. So right. there yeah. could be so, I mean, so many different opportunities or just outcomes of how Nate handles it. But all we know is he's got more power right, right now. Right. You think cool. Nate and Annalise will wind up having sex again? <laughs> no. I hope so. She's very persuasive. She is. The cry. I miss you. It's just I was like, get your own Rubbing the, rubbing the inner, inner yeah. thigh. And yeah, yes. he was straight up like, yes. mm -hmm. he was over He's it. Like, Note Nate to guys out there, if you did not know, when an attractive female rubs the inner thigh, that means she probably wants to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the love lesson, Thaddeus. Right, wow. No, but seriously, if you guys have any more theories on Sam, on Nate, on the situation, we sort of gave you three here. We'd love to hear what you have to say in the YouTube comments. You can yes. also tweet us all week long. We love to hear everything that's yeah, happening. so great. Yes, we, do. we really do. And you guys can also call in 424-253-0504, I believe. Is that right, JT? <laughs> that was a lot of numbers that I is. believe so. I got it right here. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Yeah, tell us right now what the number is so people can call in and give us yeah, theories. Yeah, somebody right. call. Right. Somebody call. Theories it out is 424-253-0504. Uh, huh? Yes! I'm all gonna right, you see that, that, you see that okay. line lighting up. You send them through. So 424-253-0504, right. uh -huh. guys. Call in, give us your theories. Give us, Have a question correct us anything. on anything. We can talk about it because we just watched it like you guys. So... I'm sure we're going to go back and watch again like we do every episode. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts. Heck so yeah. let's talk about the the case that's going on that she took uh, where she went to go take uh, Belle, this lady, out. Yeah. Uh, she, her name was Paula. Paula, mm -hmm. Paula something. Can't and last name. Mm -hmm. she bells her out on a favor. And they're walking down the street. Who was played by, I can't remember the actress's name, but she was amazing. She was an... Um, uh, Ugly Betty. She oh, played. Yeah. She played uh, America for Ferrera. Is that her name? Yeah. Ferrera's sister, older sister. Mm -hmm. um, and she's an amazing actress. Even though I can't remember her name, but she's kind of hot too, like low key. Like <laughs> low key. Oh, we have, oh, we have oh, a we have caller. caller. Yes. We're gonna break up right now and we'll, do that. We'll, we have a caller That's right awesome. now. Uh, but they, you see the, the the cars, SUVs converge on her, and then like Annalise is like, "What's going on?" And we'll Buster have to go with back to that because yeah, we'll that was a little it. bit. But yeah, let's take yeah. the caller. So we have a caller on line one. Hey, hello. hey, hello, caller. Who's calling? This is Shane Brown. I'm calling from Washington D.C. Shane, what's up, buddy? Hey, How you doing? Hey, man. You have any you have hey, any, you have any uh, questions doing, for us? I'm doing good. No, I just. I was listening to what you all were saying about the theory about uh, Nate. Yes. And I, I, I think I think that Nate really does care about Annalise. Really? I think that he, he didn't tell her because he wants her to feel safe. I don't oh. think that it's as deep as him being feeling guilty about the wife and uh, payback. I don't think it's that at all. I think really at the end of the day, I think he's scared for her, and I think he really cares about her. But if he wants her to feel safe, why would he send her that way? Or why would he send um, yeah, her that way when he knows that this could be a bad situation? You know why? I think he wants, go ahead, I think go what ahead, he wants Shane. To do is protect her from afar. In other words, she's got to go home and pretend everything right. is okay. Right. He, she, he can't, she, she can't go home and pretend everything is okay if he knows for sure or she knows for sure that he's a killer. Mm -hmm. Right, so he's giving so, her right. some peace of mind. Some calm down, okay. okay. Right. That, that, that. That, that makes sense because if he tells her that her, her gut 
instincts right. there's validation to her there's a point to it then she's gonna act funny and that's gonna actually trigger him, trigger him and maybe some stuff is gonna go down Ooh. when he's not around to protect yeah. her mm-hmm. so it's like you just act normal so then I'll he's able to out. actually exactly. figure it out for her while she just lives her so, life. So do you think? Do you think after That's he was on the theory, stand Shane. and she put him on the stand, do you think he's actually going to come through for her in the in some sort of way? I do. I I, yeah. I think that um, I think it was you that said that. I think he. No, I'm not sure it was, but I think he really cares about Annalise. Hmm, and I, I can think see that. that. Despite despite her doing what she did to him, I think that's part of what what he likes about her or loves about her. But um, well, maybe not love. Yeah, I'm like, like I wouldn't go for that far. <laughs> <laughs> but, Strong but like. I, I think what he's going to be doing is in the background, kind of being there for her and really trying to find out what the truth is about this situation before he lays the the reality in her lap to deal with. Because I mean, remember. Every day she's got to go home to this guy who may or may not be a killer. Right. So, yeah. I don't know. That, a no, that, that make, that's a really good theory. So there's like another side story because there isn't like if they're not hooking up and having sex or and if he's kind of laying low, there's not really a storyline for Nate. And I think we all agree that Nate's still going to play to be through. around. Right? So that we right. could, you know, cut to seeing him figuring out more and more stuff and then we're just kind of waiting like how is he going to tell her like yeah. what's going to happen I really like right. that theory man and the fact that he has a wife that's ailing or whatever mm-hmm. means she's probably going to go sometime so he's actually transitioning into oh, I don't like that yeah, I don't like that that's, that's real like life that. I mean that's, that's she's real transitioning life. to a married woman though she's currently still married yeah technically she is but he's it's all... not technically she <laughs> yeah, has the ring no, on technically she's married yeah right. you're right she is married and she's already sleeping with him so I know, and, but and I don't want. Hey guys, with I'm, too. I'm gonna hang up because I want to. I want to hear you guys go on. Oh, you guys! Uh, <laughs> Shane, Shane, before you go, I got a quick question for you. Do you think? Right. Do you think Annalise walks funny because Nate is that good in bed? <laughs> 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 Only oh, you would have. I have walk all night long. Oh, oh my god. god. Hey, what is this hey, animal Nate, house? Right. Like that. I think Nate's putting it down. That's why Annalise has that strong walk. Okay, that, she's that got. is the lasting three episodes. All right, Shay. Pre- Shay, thank you for calling in, bro. <laughs> my man, we good. I'm enjoying you. I'm, I'm getting ready to tune in a little longer. Take care. Okay, all so, right, bye. You. That was awesome. That was awesome. No, I could totally see that, that he's going to gather more and more information. But in gathering more information, is he going to find out more stuff about Annalise that he doesn't want to know? Who knows? Will oh they my wind up That's the fifth theory that we. There was four plus Lord. his plus. Ooh. That's really really good, and that that actually that theory. Thanks Shane for that. That would actually keep him Tie in the loop. Up. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. that would keep him around, and it just at an arm's length, right? And keep him a little bit more positively positively than our initial reactions because. The way we were saying, he's going to come for her blood, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, I really want him to stay I, the good guy. I didn't really but... feel like he was coming for blood. Well, maybe payback. If, maybe payback. Maybe if it was a payback situation, kind of just like let karma do his thing. I don't want to be a part of it. Wash his hands. But not really actively doing anything. I don't feel like Shonda's people her. wash their hands. But I, think, <laughs> well, I don't think like they wash their hands. Well, you got to remember <laughs> right. that there has to be a love interest that's genuine and true. And maybe he's that guy. For her, well, yeah, because right now because we because we talked about that. What was the silver lining for her? Remember, yeah, we were like just the thrill of the hunt and winning the victory. I think that is kind of like, you know, just the love of passion of what you're doing your career, and then there's the other part of you still want somebody to share that with. Mm. Well, that was the thing. Yeah, we 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 definitely talked about that, and we said there's no there's no real happy in her world, right. and I feel like throwing him under the bus and him walking a little bit made her realize maybe that that could have been. A lot better. Uh, happy. And in her twisted mind, she feels like she has to keep him involved by making him go look for these alibis and this, that, and the other thing rather than getting that it could change into something else later. Mm. If she Who was. knows? Maybe she's going to have this just massive relief when she finds out that Sam is dead. <laughs> I, I honestly True. kind of think. I season don't know. Two, I don't like he, that. Season Honestly, two, I don't Nate like gets that. fired and he ends up working with Annalise. Uh, as no, private no. Uh, he is not Department good enough to. I'm sorry, he's not good Talk enough to work Annalise right now. Working? What's Frank's job? Okay, I know. Oh, I he's not an attorney. Didn't no. they allude yeah, to that? He's, he's not, not an attorney. He's they not an attorney. They basically blatantly called him out. And I was confused. I'm like, is he the? 
eye candy? Is he the pretty boy? Like, what is he there for? I, he's I, somebody. He's service. not just the intern. Okay, now this is this is my theory on Definitely Frank because I was thinking about it after we found out that he wasn't a lawyer. He is really good at digging and he finds out things. So what if Annalise repped him? And it's like, you know, the Olivia Pope squad. I so, I'm sorry to like compare it again, well, but like, yeah. what if she she brings him in? Mm. And what if also Bonnie, she repped Bonnie for something and then decided to bring her in? Because like, they're you know? extremely loyal, especially Bonnie. Yeah. I mean, she will tell, you know, shut it down, don't call her by her first name, all that kind of stuff. That actually, I like that better. Plus, I mean, she would have to have gotten there from somewhere because she, Annalise doesn't just bring people on her team. Exactly. You got to be on point. So she yeah. either found you doing something mm-hmm. dirty, fixed you up. And, that'd oh, be very and scandalous. The, and that's, it would make very, sense, though. That's, all, that's what scandal did. Bonnie Brandon and Olivia Pope kind of bring people in yeah. that she did. And next thing you know, they were glad eating. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. But it'll, be, it'll still be cool, though. Bonnie it'll still and work. Frank, though, I feel like they're... Like, everyone working for Annalise... Like, I feel like there's... A, Everyone working for Annalise get that she's the boss, but she wants them to work and find stuff and mm-hmm, be mm-hmm. talkative you know, and voice their opinion. And I do feel like there is something about Bonnie and Frank where they cower to her. So I definitely agree that there's some type. She something has some kind else of power. Happened. Right. They, they weren't yeah. just, you know, applied for a job and got no. it, or else they would be more aggressive or more like her, or like it would wear off that way. Totally, totally. And it's, it's just funny how Annalise treats like the different people even though they are these people that were recruited or her team they still have their underlying bs Mm -hmm. you know we're looking at bonnie like how much time does she sleep with sam a week or and then we look at frank like what other student does he want to be you know what i mean so it's funny no one on this show is all good and no one's all bad it's very interesting i like how the b stories like the the cases that they get every week Mm -hmm. is always some kind of twisted individuals mm. or some kind of like like Paula was nuts right there's like some dimension some that kind of demented go situation going on yeah. right like so it also helps bring out the characters and the character development of the the characters yeah, and, the, and the team mm-hmm. and kind of helps propel them in their development of becoming attorneys in mm-hmm. the long run right. just it's really all about them not really about but they make the cases good i like it you know what's happening though which which is gonna happen you know how we've had three cases every week it's like uh, it's uh lila sam and the current case yeah when rebecca comes on trial that's gonna be one so are we are we gonna see a break in that pattern of three cases going at all times because the Rebecca trial, her defending Rebecca and the Lila trial are the same, same thing. thing. Well, who knows when that's going to be, though? Because, I mean, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but I've sort of don't. been digging. And there are cases, you know. In between. I, yeah, there are people hired. Um, you know, I'm looking into having some people getting booked on the show. And they were a part of this sort of, like, C storyline where, right. where, where it's a case. So... Maybe they're saving that for episode 14 and 15. Maybe it's going to be an awesome two-parter or something. I mean, we found out today that it got picked up for a full season order, so... There are more episodes coming. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. That means we'll be Kudos. here too. Right. We like that. That's awesome. Y'all just bring me in a guest house anytime you need. Yeah. That's all yeah. I'm right. Okay. <laughs> but I think it's cool how you mentioned how, in, I don't want to say insane, but just very interesting and wired uh, her uh, clients are. Right. And with Paula, how freaky it was for her to hold her the guy's hand at the end. And you're like, Paula, did you just play us? Like, did right. you just play she all did, of totally us? totally did. Right. As it was, soon as she was in the cab, I knew something was happening. Of course, it was too... When well, she was laughing like that, she was like, we, she was, was going to pull one over on everyone. Inter- but, I, didn't, I didn't get it then, but, you know, that, wow. What I thought the most interesting part of the uh, Elena, Paula, Annalise interaction sure. was when Paula was sitting in the back of Annalise's car and they were driving. Oh, and that, she said, the car, yeah. and she said, you know... All, all of these years when I'm having sex with my husband, when I'm out for drinks with my friends, all I can do is think about him. And then the next scene was Annalise daydreaming at a table mm-hmm. with Sam yeah. and her two, the couple, the other couple. Right, yeah. And it was just like, it's not the same, but it is the but same. Who is, is, but who is she about? thinking about? Yeah, and exactly. I, well, well she's, thinking about the, she's thinking about the case. She's thinking about everything that's going on in her life. And it's just... It's too. She's just not about she's, her she's disconnected. She's yeah, she she's is. not about him. And you, and I even think that throughout all of this, even though Nate told her that the alibi is okay, she has been known to show her gut feelings, and I think she's gonna feel something. She's gonna see one little thing. But and then kind lying. of question what Nate had to say. Mm-hmm. She might go and confront Nate and be like, are you sure you told me the truth about blah, blah, blah? Oh, I because can see it. Because this is yeah. happening and this is happening and this doesn't add up with 
this. what you said. And then so, watch her get pissed off at Nate when Nate in the end is trying to do a good thing. Yeah. Or might not. Or she might call him out totally catching before he Maybe. sticks it to her. Yeah. You, Can we talk so about this? Theories. Can we talk about this Colin character? <gasps> Because this guy, <laughs> Wait, is it Connor? Con- Connor. Connor, Connor he bad. does Connor. not like people to be happy. Connor, Goodness. I can't believe he had the gall. Yes. <laughs> when there was evidence, apparently, against the, against the, what's her name, Elena or Paula. And he said, oh, there's not a case. You know, we don't have a case. Right. And, like, what? Like, right. let right. her Annalise's say faces. that. Yes. Yeah. Don't you say that. You're still like a little... Well, he was like a bitter Betty this entire episode. Yeah, yeah. he was. we saw a different side of him. That's true. Like, I, I, <laughs> I like that bitter Betty. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Downer, perfect. Bitter like, Betty, De- Betty you know, Downer. He was all that. It was funny because last episode, like we see how he was like kind of, I don't know, using the IT guy to get some information. And then there was part of me that was like, oh, maybe he actually likes him. But to this week, it was a completely... Different, yeah. His like daggers were out. That's funny because I actually thought the same thing. I was like, okay, this will turn into his relationship and that'll be something crazy later. But he dropped him onto the next. If he could be with Michaela's man, he would. Like, he's just all what works for him. No, all of, all of he, them are. I don't think he'd be with Michaela's man. I think he just. You sh- I mean, all I that think egging he just likes, on. I think he likes bursting people's bubbles yeah. and he's just an evil, you know what? He's just, just an evil. He just wants, I can get with that too. He just he, wants a reaction he, out of them. He, and he wants to use people for what they're good for for him. Exactly. And he doesn't, I don't think this guy has any redeeming qualities right well, now. Well, listen, sure if Michaela is, if he's like using Michaela as a punching bag, she's not going to be at the top of her game and therefore he can mm. slide in. Mm. I mean, we have to remember that they are in a constant competition with each other True. at all times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost like a reality TV show. They're all just trying to like piss <laughs> each other off. Seriously. Right. It's kind of annoying because you were hoped that they would become a team. I mean, I, no. I do not want to do the scandal thing, but they're nothing like that in terms of like the... Um, the dynamic. Yeah, right. that dynamic, mm-hmm. which is cool, a different, completely different show. But just to have them all work for her, Annalise did kind of do that by setting them up and saying you speak louder you don't speak enough i don't know your name yet that right, kind of right. thing so it's tough because now they none of them trust each other you got um i can't remember his name in the show but um same guy from orange is the new black he oh, plays, asher. Like, asher asher is just like asher his character the a-hole. Is whole, yes oh my God. with the rich daddy and Perfect. he gets to have my sources and, and they like... all yeah they all just <laughs> and they play call these... him out on it they're like yeah you're dead yeah they all play yeah. these hilarious roles in turn but all at the, at the at the end of the day, they're all just like, I need her to know who I am. I need to be the one who wins. None right. of them work together when she's like, go prove something. I would think, let's go figure this out. They all separate every well, time. Well, they work together weird, with though. the murder with Sam. That's right. probably, that might be the first time that we see them come together really as a group that instead of working separately. Very interesting. Right, but you know what's, what, what um, Stacey, what you just brought up was that, okay, so very good point. They're all so quick mm. to bring Annalise any piece of evidence or mm-hmm. anything that could help the case. Mm-hmm. But yet Wes doesn't say he knew Rebecca in that mm-hmm. case. The whole time. Wes doesn't say he has Lila's telephone or cell phone. He still, Wes has, he wants still to hasn't told hero. anyone that. He hasn't told anyone that. He's, so it's like wow. he doesn't. There's something else. Because you know what I mean? Like that could get him great brownie points. You go go spy on your roommate. Go do this. You got the phone. Go do this. Mm-hmm. We also get a phone call to Lila's phone. During the yeah, meeting. Yeah, but at that point, if you think about it, at that point, if he tells them early, then he just becomes a, becomes a pawn and he's just following instructions. Exactly. He if he doesn't do- say anything, he's allowed and he has the freedom to go and investigate himself mm-hmm. and find out what's going on. And maybe pull something out of his butt that's like what you did all this you knew all this all this time and then i mean look how far he went but you know what he wes is still trying to prove himself remember he's still the one person that doesn't understand why he's on the team you know so i think he's still trying to prove himself to himself right you know what i mean because oh, like I Annalise, don't buy that. I no, buy that but he's some he, he's other in a compromising between them. He's in a compromising situation too because yeah. he does live next door to Rebecca. And he kind of likes he, her. Kind of likes yeah. her. But that's what I'm saying. He is willing to give up his good piece of information or his like teacher's pet moment and have all this stuff to protect this Rebecca girl. He's willing to give up that just for a little eye look it's not like they even like barely yeah. talked well, <laughs> I think yet. he wants to get more information and at this point I don't think he probably feels like he has enough information and she's probably right. not important enough you see how he went on this whole diatribe about poor people mm-hmm. and not having a rich family and blah blah mm-hmm. blah so he probably just wants to gather more information and you know do some of his own investigating yeah. on his own but so why did that probably... mean so much to him was he maybe like an orphan or something because he's Annalise's he's... long lost son <laughs> <laughs> well no he... okay Awkward. crazy no okay, I would crazy. be very upset because um, they don't look anyway um <laughs> 
Yeah, but I you think see Wes is likes. the only person that oh nasty. Uh, Wes is the only person that doesn't bring up the daddy, mommy, money thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even the way he dresses, the way he carries himself, he still looks like a chill dude. I mean, Connor, he's got the tie up yeah. every single every yeah. single episode. Michaela, they all have a very. I mean, the Ash a hole wears a suit. <laughs> even like they all have a very specific yeah. look, and he's like, "Look, I don't even know how I got here." He was on the waiting list. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. still, you know. Yeah. So it means more to him because he can probably relate. He even looked uncomfortable. Right, but I feel like the reason that he was on the waiting list, because like, "Oh crap!" I feel like the reason why he was on the wait, like he got picked off the waiting list, is because somehow he's intertwined to someone. Wow, you are really you are digging into his personal life. I'm interested. There, there's in that. something about Wes that we're gonna. There's there's an aha moment about Wes. I'm interested in that. What Can't happened? I think out. I think he's I think he's gonna be bad. I want him to be bad. It's time. You I said don't know. That like a, he's he's like I, that, you said that I like, like, a like, like I want like, him to be wanna, bad. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm you just keep like, doing it. Like, like what if it's a like? I'm gonna look I at Jillian this. totally different now. As she said it that time. No, I mean just you and him would make nice babies too. Oh, very. <laughs> funny my boyfriend would love hearing that oh, um, no sorry, I, I just boyfriend. I'm I'm thinking that we, we don't know who he is and I don't think he's Annalise's long lost son but mm. I'm curious to see where he came from and you know what he's had to battle in his life sure. because he's coming to this girl's defense so quickly and he barely knows her and obviously he's relating to her on some level so what made him the man that he is today you know what made annalise the woman that she is we don't know these we don't know these little things annalise put away his parents or something instinct oh uh, and he doesn't know about it oh my god or no he does no, he can't. No, he, 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 he can't. Maybe that's why she saw his name on the wait list and picked him to come in. You really went there. Know. Like, you really took it there. <laughs> that's, that's a good theory. That's a really interesting. <laughs> can I ask you, what did you guys think? And I, I don't want to just ask the women because I really want you to have an opinion about it in terms of a, like, oh, a flip. No, Thaddeus doesn't get an opinion. Well, no, I just mean, <laughs> what did you think about Michaela's reaction to her boy toy and finding out, I guess I should call her fiance, um, finding yeah. out exactly his a little bit about his past and how she reacted and, and going forward with the relationship? Relationship. And would you guys do the same thing if you found your boy had that pass or your girl? Because I want it to be just serious for a girl. Some guys, they're like, whatever, she just had a fling. I mean, on the guy side, it's totally going to be a double standard. It's not going to be I the know, same. but I really don't want that. I really want you to... That's it just, just reality. Be the... just, that's just reality. Just, okay. just think, talking about so social though. standards, a guy social is not going to respond. A woman is not going to respond the same way of finding out her guy slept with another guy as a guy is going to respond to a girl, 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 girl. You know, exactly. Right. It's not not gonna be the no, same. I, I, totally I agree. agree. I generally speaking, not saying there's some guys who will get mad about that, right. but generally speaking. So no. what about not general? What about you? What about me? Mm -hmm. What about me? What would you say? I'm like, what she look like? <laughs> no, you drops pen, drops pen, drops pen. I think oh, she was not. She wasn't even cute, babe. Like, I think that she <laughs> handled it properly until she started bringing up. The, the Vera Wang wedding I gown to and smack her. you will not embarrass me because like you know she, she said, started off saying like you know I'm we can be friends uh, you know this is this is okay but just so you know I've spent a lot of money and you better not bring me down because I have plans for my life I and I will her. ruin she you said my life instead of our life yeah, I, I was her. really hoping eventually she'd be like I want us to be happy I want us no, to she work she comes she from a very privileged background oh my obviously gosh. the fact that she mentioned that she's obviously you know right, personally become an attorney and then she mentioned Aiden and his future political career that she comes right. from a well to do yes. family and background right, but it, but she should have got up in court also and slapped the shit out of uh, right. Connor also when saying. he was whispering in her ear after she should have <laughs> Back, back to the point of if it bothers her that he had a relationship that he didn't tell her about, no less a relationship with a guy. I don't think she cares, really. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care that that he had a relationship with a man and that she didn't tell him. She just cares that it might fall and embarrass her. I mean, right. that's, like, I feel like she... I think it yeah, starts, but look, it's, it's also about how it happened, how true. it came out. It it's came not from so much her that enemy. happened, how it came out, But that's how what it I'm happened. saying. So it's not really about her love or her insecurity that her man's going to go somewhere else. I see what and you're about And it's not about saying. love. It's about, you know what I mean? Like, what we're asking ourselves is to, the, the question that makes sense. Like, would we be upset? But she's not upset. Like, her heart's not hurt. Her ego is hurt. Yeah. And then she goes a step further, and it's like, it's about me and my dress and my expensive and my day, but, but it's not about, like... Like, well, is this something that me. we need to talk about? Yeah. Like, yeah. are you gonna like? She does go like, are you gay? And he's like, I'm not gay. 
you know what I mean? But it's like that's like a second of it, and yeah. like the rest of it's about her and how it's gonna. I did look. not expect the Vera Wynn comment. I was really disappointed because it just it, it I was spent bad. A fortune. I was like, girl, what? This is so irrelevant. Like you're literally yeah. having a moment right now between someone that you're about to marry. Let's yeah. discuss that part because like, the dress will eventually be hung up. But yeah. that's but that's I think that's realistic too because a woman who's invested in a relationship or even a guy or somebody who's invested in a relationship and there's something that really threatens or jeopardizes the culpability of this actually happening you're gonna start thinking about all the things that yeah, you've invested in. Yeah, but I would never like, say you're, that. You're not the dress, not the dress. If you're dress. with somebody that the first no. thing, if there's a problem in a relationship and the person that you're with, the first thing they think about is a material or something like planned or something, like, if that's mm-hmm. the first reaction, the relationship's got a it lot more It needs to be like, we've than, done this for years. Thing. Tell me the truth. Yeah, me, but yeah. she has a lot more problems. Well, well, that's you what know I'm saying. What? And I would have loved it if he would have just been like, peace and left her. Listen, the perfect um, way to end this entire thing is... Connor Betch Hayden. lost her ring. It's going to cause <laughs> yes. a lot of issues. Yes. And, you know, I'm we, we have a lot to look forward to next week. Yeah. I, we I think know. we're yeah. both well, that's very why excited. Her, her yeah. alibi is going to be that she has to sleep with Connor in the, in the wilderness <laughs> and that she loses the ring. Crazy that, theory. That's going to be the thing that we're also going <laughs> to find The predictions out. are nuts. And we can't we don't wait. even have them because it's all predictions. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard to predict. We usually don't do it since we <laughs> predict the entire episode. That's really um, interesting. So okay. we'd like to open up the conversation to Twitter. We will be on Twitter after the show. YouTube. Also on YouTube. Instagram. Please Facebook. let us know what you're feeling <laughs> right. because we have to wrap things up on our end. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah. So, so yeah, the ring was the last biggest thing that was that happened, and so we will actually wait and see. You guys, I want you guys to like, you know, hit us up on YouTube and Twitter and all that hashtag everything, and then let us know what you guys think the ring, where the ring is, or how the ring's gonna play into effect mm-hmm. with that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Quick stuff, see. The other thing too that I just wanted to mention the idea <laughs> of the alibi and them going to the bonfire. I thought that yes. was really smart. I loved that it. Was really it smart. was kind I of it's it. kind of very Burning Man esque. And Connor looks very... so evil when he I, was I like, know he was like, like smile. That was it. Oh my gosh. Okay, where can we Perfect. find you guys till next week? Oh, you're all looking at me. You yeah, guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Steph Z with an F. Nice. You guys can check me out on Instagram and Twitter at One Take Stace. Make sure to tweet me using hashtag how to get away with murder. Awesome. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter uh, at Jillian Leff. You can find me on Facebook at Jillian Leff Official. And I host American Horror Story on Wednesday nights at 8.05. So be sure to tune in there. Check her out. <laughs> American Horror Story. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Club Thaddeus, GQJedi.com. You can find me here Mondays uh, for America's Next Top Model and Monday Night Football and Sundays here for Black Jesus and Homeland starting two weeks from now, which has already started, but I'm going to start for two weeks. So, <laughs> till next time, guys. Sweet. Bye. See, See ya. ya. Peace. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz later. Yeah, buzz later. Views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.